G'day. This video is about making a Chinese lantern. My name's Philip. When we went, uh, when we went online to find some information about how to make a Chinese lantern, um, I mean, we had a pretty good idea anyway, but we thought we'd go and do some research. We discovered that uh, there wasn't actually that much to be seen. So we thought, well, what we'll do is we'll just film our project and, uh, and put it out there. But it didn't actually occur to us to, to start filming it until we're sort of part way through it. So I'll go through um, where we're up to and then I'll actually show you uh, where we've got to and beyond then I'll film it piece by piece. Um, we're making a Chinese lantern in the shape of a fish. The truth is you can make your lantern in the shape of anything you want. Um, absolutely anything there's no restrictions and there's no restrictions on size in a lot of cases ours is a fairly large project um, you can be very traditional or you can be very uh, imaginative here's some examples of Chinese lanterns come in all shapes and sizes as you can see so ours in the shape of a fish and uh, ours is, is 150 centimetres long, so it's, it's fairly sizable. Um, but we're doing it the way that works works for us, and that um, may outrage some purists in terms of, of how it should be done, but this is what works for us, So, um, and we're gonna share that, and if it works for you, great. And if you wanna do it traditionally, then, then that's great too. We're... Um, the, the key thing, the key difference between uh, the way that we are uh, going to do our lantern is um, primarily where the joins are, are soldered um, in, when we're making the wire frame. We're not actually going to solder our, our joins, we're just going to uh, wire the whole frame together. It's just a bit easier and for anybody that's ever worked with a, a soldering iron, they're just a pain. So, um, But having said that, soldering is definitely neater. and um, and it's whatever works for you, but this is what works for us. Our starting point is to work out how we're going to illuminate it, and we're going to illuminate it uh, with a standard trouble light uh, that we've just picked up from the um, hardware store. We're using a low, a low um, watt globe uh, that doesn't get very hot for, for a safety perspective. And uh, what this means though, is that the backbone of the actual fish that we're building has to be at least 10 centimetres wide so that the globe or the, the in light frame can actually hang down through it. So you'll see when we get to the, the latter parts of the video what I'm actually talking about there. But we know now that um, our, our fish has to have a backbone of 10 centimetres and the rest of it we can build around that. But that's actually our starting point is to work out how that we how are we going to make it uh, illuminated at night? So the frame for your Chinese lantern is made out of wire. Now for ours, we're using three gauges of wire. First wire here, um, which is hard to see on the video, I acknowledge, is a 2.6 gauge or 2.6 millimeter gauge wire. It's like a heavy uh, coat hanger. So it's quite easy to bend, you can bend it into shape but it's, it's going to be strong enough for the actual actual frame. Here's our tie wire. Now the tie wire is very thin, very easy to uh, build, uh, build, very easy to bend, and we're just going to use that for all the connections. So wherever the frame crosses, we'll use this, uh, this thin tie wire to, to tie it all together. For our peripherals, such as the um, as the fins, which is on a, on a fish, I mean if you're building something else that doesn't have fins, or you'll have peripheral something rather, using a medium gauge wire is, uh, is the way to go. If it's, not, if it's not actually part of the actual structure, it just hangs on to the structure, using a medium gauge wire is, is the way to go. And that so these here are the basic tools that you need. Um, just a set of pliers, a set of wire clippers, a, a, a standard tape measure, uh, a G clamp, texture, and uh, safety gl glasses, and um, some rubber coated mitts. You don't necessarily have to have the safety glasses or the or the rubber coated mitts, but you're working with wire, and uh, the chances of something happening are remote. I acknowledge, but when you're working with wire, it's 
it's a, a good idea just to treat safety um, as a priority considering it's only about five bucks for a set of glasses. So this is the basic plan for our frame for our fish. The reason it's an unusual shape is so that it actually uh, can be fully illuminated at, at night. When we actually uh, insert the, the lamp, the lamp will actually hang in this space here. And therefore the light will go this way and, and this way. Now if it turns out we actually need two lamps, we've still got 10 centimeters uh, backbone here, so I can actually insert another lamp in here. But at this stage we're not looking to, to do that. This basic shape here is the main frames and we need two continuous lengths of wire in exactly that shape. So the starting point for your wire is here and your end point for the wire is here. So your first task in building the frame will be to get two lengths of two gauge wire this full length and in this shape. Now I'll show you how to get that shape uh, in a minute, but these making sure that you have continuous length and making sure that both lengths are exactly the same shape is what makes your lamp balanced. You'll also have these other bits of wire and this is a is again a, just a continuous uh, loop of wire squarish at the bottom, squarish at the top and curved squarish at the bottom, squarish at the top and curved and square all round. I'll explain those in a minute but this curve here and here and here and here are essentially the curves of the outside of the fish. It all so makes sense. We've taken our, our standard plan which is, which is here and we've transposed that onto our cardboard template. Now the cardboard template is basically the same shape. So here's our starting point and we go along the main frame in a single continuous piece of wire all the way around to the start. Now these things here, here and here are the fins that I spoke about uh, with you. So we're not actually worried about those fins. They are one of the last things that we attach to the fish, or in your case, the peripherals you're going to attach to your, to your lantern will be the, the last thing that you want to achieve. So what we actually uh, start by doing is we start with our, our frame wire, which is here. We take the frame wire and we manually bend it to perfectly match the shape. So we start from this point here and we bend the frame wire all the way around the outside of the frame to perfectly match the outline until we return to this point here. Now to make it easier for ourselves we install a simple clamp here. That holds the end in exactly the same location. Then you can work your way around making fine adjustments to perfectly match the shape. Goes around here, back around here. When you get to here, just cut it off with your pliers. And you need to make two of those things. 